In this tutorial, we're going to check out a pretty cool uh, VS Code extension that allows us to transfer our files directly to our web server uh, from our development tool. Uh, so with VS Code, as you know, there's many extensions, uh, some of which I've shown in other tutorials. Uh, today, we're going to go to extensions and uh, we're going to search for SFTP. And this is the first one that comes up. Uh, 1 million downloads over, click install, let it install, and once we have it installed, we can take a look on our toolbar, and you'll see that SFTP is there as an option now. I'm going to close down the extensions, and uh, we're going to go back uh, to my workspace. In my workspace, um, I have a folder, my workspace open, I have a tutorial one, hello world, uh, and I have some uh, some folders, uh, index uh, file, um, test file, uh, test PHP file. What I want to do is I want to get them up to my web server. They're ready to go. So if I look at index file, I want to get that hello world page up to my web server. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this SFTP extension. Uh, and if we click on it here, we can see we have my server uh, set up, but there's nothing there yet because it's not been um, configured. So the, it can't really um, configure or connect to anything yet. So um, I'm going to escape to cancel that. Uh, what we can do though is we can um, we can actually um, go here and uh, we want to go ahead and configure it. So if, if we go up to the command palette, if we go to view, and if we type SFTP, uh, you'll see it come up like this. It's recently used uh, because I've uh, pulled it up just a little while ago. And this is going to give you the SFTP.json configuration file for your current workspace. Okay, um, So you're going to give it a server name. Uh, so the name for my server, uh, I'm just going to call it uh, Professor Wolf. And my host name, okay, so hopefully from your hosting company, you would have set up uh, your FTP account and you have connection criteria. Um, I have mine here, uh, and I'm going to use this to uh, go ahead and configure these uh, name value pairs in this JSON file. So the host in this case uh, is going to be my FTP server. Okay, um, so I'm going to pick uh, FTP server that I have and I'm going to change that so the host is in there. Now the protocol that I've been given, I'm not using SFTP, I'm actually using FTP. Um, so the protocol is FTP and the port becomes 21 uh, for a non-secure port for that typically. Again, double check with your hosting provider. You may have um, SFTP, you may have FTP, um, all of that's important. Now here's your username. Um, my username will be at my host, uh, my host. Uh, so it's pretty common a lot of times that you'll have um, a username and then it's going to be at your host name. And then additionally, uh, you can opt to store your password in your JSON config file uh, or you can enter it um, when you go to connect. But uh, I'm going to store it uh, for sake of ease, uh, more or less, uh, not so much because um, it's um, a good practice or anything uh, unless it's your own computer. So the name value pair is password, uh, again a colon, um, and then the actual value of your password. So in this case I'm going to type in my password here, um, which I will change after this video is recorded, um, but then end it with a comma. Uh, so again just adding another name value pair into this JSON. Uh, and once that is good, what we can do is we can close this file down. We no longer need it save the changes and uh, now if you go here to your SFTP Explorer um, you'll see that there is the name of the host I set up and if I click to expand it um, you're going to go ahead and see whatever's connected there in that site. Um, so what I've done previously here is um, I've created a folder previously on that connection uh, and you see that it's up there um, currently on that web host. Uh, there's no files in it currently. Okay, uh, so I want to make sure I want to get those there. And uh, what I can do now, now that I'm connected and all, um, what I can do is I can go back to my Explorer for my workspace. Uh, and I'm going to, if I right click, um, you'll see I have actually some um, 
different um, options here uh, to do. Um, what I could end up doing is um, uploading it um, if I wanted to. Okay, um, that's an option. Uh, so there's there's some options now that I have to uh, work directly with this SFTP connection. So um, I could do compare with the remote server if there was one up there already. Um, so there's definitely um, some good valuable um, options now. Um, I'm going to click upload. And I'm going to click upload on this one as well, um, just for the sake of it. And if we go back to my um, SFTP extension now, and if we refresh here, we're hopefully we'll refresh and we should be able to see my files. And they are there now. Okay, so you see that everything that I've done has now been um, refreshed and synced up there um, to that remote server. Okay, if I go to my web browser, because I also have a public URL that this is connected to, um, what I can do is go and pull up um, that directory here, and we can take a look. Um, and uh, so right now, um, you'll see that the root of that directory, I don't have anything currently um, there. Um, so we'll just take a look here and there's nothing currently there. Um, if I go back um, and to, let's see, go back up to an example folder. Let's see if that's there now. Um, and you'll see that that file is updated on that FT FTP server now. Um, so if I go to this test page, okay, um, you'll see that that's what I'm viewing in my web browser, but it's also here in my VS Code. Um, I can right click and edit in local, and what that'll do is it'll bring it down to my local um, workspace as well. Um, and I can say, okay, this says example two updated, um, and I'm just gonna change the title to say made a change. And I'll also change the H1 tag to say made a change. And if I save it now, uh, go back to my web browser, okay, and refresh. You'll see it automatically saves it and commits it back to my FTP server. Uh, so it's faster, you know, and better if you're developing a site and you want to make the changes directly on your web host um, on your FTP server right here through VS Code without actually having to go to uh, FTP client like FileZilla, which I've shown in other tutorials, um, and upload your changes. Uh, so I like the extensions in VS Code because they make my life easier and much faster. Uh, and then it's almost as if I'm making the changes uh, locally on my computer and testing everything out, um, whereby my VS Code is directly connected to my web host and I can see the changes live and real time. I um, hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, put some feedback in the comments below if uh, you have any questions or anything to share. Uh, thank you and uh, have a great afternoon.